What's going on post fam? So today we're talking about my meme remixes and I'm going to be revealing some secrets on how I turn a meme into an actual vocal or a rap. I've been getting a ton of comments asking to do this so I'm excited to show you guys what I do and I really hope it helps you learn something. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the project right here. I played a hell of a joke on these people at work. work, work. Look, I locked the door from the outside. They was in there having lunch. I walked in the room, I said, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I deal with the meme as it pertains to vocals, like how I mix them, how I time them, and just kind of overall turning that into a song. So the first thing I want to go into before I talk about um, tempo and lining it up is the very first thing that I do when I drop it into the project, which is just the raw audio file from the initial video. So this is what it sounds like for this one. I can understand it both ways. I understand it, but everybody act like the coronavirus. So as you can tell, it's just really like muffled and kind of dull and there's a lot of background noise. So there's actually a trick to get rid of background noise on FL Studio and it's really easy. So you just click on this, right click, and then open an audio editor. And then it opens in Edison here. And so getting everything, I'm just saying, I play. So right here, you can just have an isolated background noise sound. Or let me, let me choose this one. Yeah. So that's just the background noise here. And then you right click on the brush icon right here. And then it says noise profile acquired. And now if you select everything and then click on the brush icon, then it brings up this window and you can preview it. Everybody act like the coronavirus the more you is this, just so much of a big, everybody act like the coronavirus you can, you can is tell just now so it's much of like a big deal. Completely, everybody it's completely, the background noise is eliminated, but it makes it all like weird and phasey and sounds bad. So you want to dial back the threshold and the amount a bit. Everybody just so that like it like coronavirus takes is out just most so of it, much of a big deal, of everybody. If I kept the noise in with all the effects, it would just kind of sound like a big mess. So now we can drag it into the project, which is what I did for this file. And yeah, so that's what I do at first, just to kind of clean up the audio a bit. Um, in a bit, I'll show you all the effects that I put on the vocal to make it sound good. But for now, let's talk about the tempo. <laughs> Yeah, so it all kind of flows and sounds like he's actually doing it on purpose. And that's the goal with these remixes here. So the very first, very most important thing about lining up a vocal or a meme to turn into a vocal is tempo. So everybody, when they talk, if they're comfortable, they have like a speed sort of or a tempo that they're talking in. And so I just watch the video and trying to like, like tap on the table to kind of get an idea. When I hear a phrase and it kind of sounds like it's a BPM, a certain BPM, then I'll try to find what that is. And for this one, it was pretty clearly 115 BPM. And so once you have that, you're able to line it up a lot better. Like if I put this at 150 BPM, it would be super hard to line it up. I figured out this was a good tempo. And then from there, I kind of just like, I'll just take the whole entire thing and just like play it. Having lunch, I walked in the room, I said, you should have seen him in there running, trying to get out See, you can window. tell, like, I didn't do anything to this, and it almost sounds like it's on beat, because, like, he, the rhythm of his voice is just around 115 BPM. Then I start to line things up and put it into place. Pro tip with lining up vocals is that um, if you go to declicking mode and then click generic bleeding, it'll have these little fade-out points here, and so there won't be any, like, pops and clicks when you're, like, splicing up the audio. I played a hell of a joke on these people at work. Another pro tip, if you hold down shift and you scroll with your mouse thing right here, you can like line things up super easily and super quickly. And so that's essentially what I did with this whole vocal is I just put parts together and I locked the door from the outside. They, they was just kind of lunch. come together. I walked in the room, I said, <laughs> Yeah, so like even with this achoo sound, like it normally sounds like this. <laughs> it's really fast, but I wanted to like extend it a bit. So I just cut it here and then <laughs> can make it sound more on beat like that. This is my favorite part right here. Because it like lines up just like a rap. I love it. I just kind of like some just minor adjustments here. Um, otherwise it would be like this, but I just wanted to line it up. So I just like splice it up like that. About that thing. So I, you just like do little adjustments like that and it kind of lines up. So that's the general idea of how I line things up. Um, I also do other cool tricks as you can see in here with these like little delay throw things. Work, work, look. So basically what I do is I take a certain part of the audio, work, like work. work, and then I'll press the R so it records, and then you click the record button here, and press play. Work. And then you have just that one work. Work. thing right there, and it applies all the effects. And so that's what I did with this, and then I routed it to a separate channel with its own delay on it, Fruity Delay 3, and now it sounds like this. Work, 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 work. So it's just like a cool little delay throw. And then just that little look thing is the same idea. <laughs> 
but just with like a ton of reverb on it and OTT and a couple other things. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I just did, I repeated those lines and then they had this own, their own like little filtered thing. Which, by the way, I use this plugin all the time. It's called Engineer's Filter and it's free, so you should check it out. Which is a nice little bandpass filter that I put on there. And little things like that just help make the vocal just more interesting and so it doesn't get dull with like the spaces in between. Windows got that thing. I said, hold up, wait a minute. So yeah, then another fun part of this song is the hey don't 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 do that part. <coughs> hey, don't 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 do that. Don't 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 do and that. That was just a little fun part that like honestly lined up pretty well cuz like if you listen to it by itself, he just did this. <coughs> hey, don't 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 do that. And it was almost that part by itself like that, but I just made some minor adjustments and turned it into like a just like fun part. <coughs> So there's like a bunch of different like don't sounds and I just kind of chopped them up and placed them like this. Just a little fun stuff like that, you know? And then for the build up, since I have the mode on stretch mode, um, if I change the pitch, it'll stay the same speed instead of speeding up the audio clip. And so for that, for this build up, I had this automation clip automating this pitch knob. And then I also have a reverb that's being, the wetness and the dryness are both being um, automated. And that just kind of helps the build up a little bit. So yeah, and then moving on to the drop, it's kind of self-explanatory because in the original video, as you see it, I show all the plugins that go into it and the process, it's literally just like, I go to the audio file here, I find a funny part I'm just saying. in the meme, and uh, I'll just find something that I can turn into a melody because it has some pitch to it, and then I'll just try to figure out something to go from there. <coughs> so first <coughs> one, it was the achoo sound, and so I just took that and I <coughs> added all these crazy effects to it, like distortion, <coughs> and then multiband compression. <coughs> only compressing the high end just to keep it, make it less harsh. Some EQ, a cool delay, which is just a Fector, which is a stock plugin, and it has a really cool delay on it. And then Valhalla Vintage Verb, which is my all time favorite reverb. A gate, just for mixing purposes, and then a little bit of this reverb filter. I also automated that um, flanger later in the song, and then OTT. And it just makes a crazy EDM sound. So yeah, that's generally how I do it with the drops as I find a little clip of audio that I can turn into a melody or a part and then add a bunch of effects to it. And it usually turns out kind of cool. So the last thing here is the effects that I put on the vocal to make it sound like it's a legit rap. When the meme remix is sort of like a rap, I often reference like Migos vocals because they're like super compressed and super bright. And so that's kind of the sound I go for. Since we fixed up the audio a bit, when I add a bunch of compression and stuff, the background noise isn't as obnoxious. So I played a hell of a joke. So I just added some more high end. I, out. Played a hell of a joke. I always like boost stuff to I figure out what the sounds going people and at work. Yeah. take it down. Then engineer's filter, which is just some high pass, taking out the low end. Um, multiband compressor. I a hell of a joke on these people at work. It's compressing the low end a lot because I didn't want to have it sound boomy. I do that with vocals a lot if the low end is just too obnoxious. And then I, I throw a, a, hell of a joke on these compressor on there. Yeah. Look. And then voice centric, which is a waves plugin that I actually highly recommend. It's just one knob and I put it on like all my vocals. And it's a really convenient doubler knob too. More EQ, a hell of a joke on the just taking out the harsh stuff. Of course we have OTT, why wouldn't we? I played a hell of a joke on And then this plugin called Soothe, which is a bit more of an advanced plugin. If you're more of an advanced producer, I would suggest getting it. It's kind of like a DSer a little bit, but it's like a smart compressor. I played a hell of a joke it on It compresses like specific frequencies and this is really nice for making things sound less harsh. Doing all that, it goes from this. I played a hell of a joke on these people. To this. I played a hell of a joke on these people at work. Just like super bright and super, like it just sounds like a rap. And then I have a couple reverb sends and, or just one reverb and one delay send. Basically that's just sending audio to another track that has 100% wetness on the reverb. So the more audio you send to it, I played a hell of a joke on these people at work. The more reverb it is. And then it just separates, it has the reverb in one simple channel and you can edit it independently. And the same with the delay. I played a I used a Comeback Kid, which is a sick delay plugin. I played a hell of a joke on these people at work. And yeah, just like that, you turned a meme into a legitimate rap. 
You should have seen him in a running, trying to get out windows about that thing. I said, You just have to learn how to know how mixing tools work, and then you can take any source file and make it a little bit better. It's pretty crazy how you can take just a crappy camera audio video and turn it into something that almost sounds like a legitimate rap. So that being said, you can do a lot with a vocal that's recorded on an actual mic, even if it's not a super great mic. You just have to know how to manipulate things the right way. So yeah, that's honestly it. All right, guys, so that concludes this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot of valuable things from this one. It's honestly true that you can get a lot of really great sound from even crappy source audio if you just know how to manipulate the plugins right. So I know that all the things that I showed you today aren't necessarily gonna help you be able to do exactly what I do yet. You kind of have to learn how to manipulate these plugins and that kind of takes time. So I would suggest that you just experiment with your own songs and start messing with EQ and compression. And over time, you will just get the hang of it and you'll be able to make things sound awesome. The cool thing is if you learn how to make bad source audio sound good then once you do have good source audio you can make it sound amazing but anyway if you haven't already yet follow me on instagram and tiktok at asher postman and if you're not already subscribed dude subscribe it's not that hard and that's all i got for this video i will see you next time peace <laughs>